Hi. The Toombe Collins Cleanser needs to be taken with a watermelon and pumpkin seeds. With the pumpkin seeds, what you're going to do, you're going to parch them or lightly roast the pumpkin seeds for between three and four minutes. Then you're going to put the pumpkin seeds into, into a Nutribullet or a blender to take them and bring them into dust form. Once you put them into dust form, take the pumpkin seeds out, put the watermelon in, that's the red part of the watermelon with the seeds from the watermelon, and then add a little bit of uh, pumpkin seeds to the uh, red watermelon, and then blend that, put it into a bottle, add some more watermelon, and blend that with some more pumpkin seeds, yeah? And what you need to drink is roughly a one litre and a half of watermelon with pumpkin seeds. After drinking the watermelon with pumpkin seeds, 50 minutes later, you take the first tablet. And then if you're only taking two tablets, 10 minutes later, take the second. But then after that, if you're taking four, 10 minutes later, take the third and so on and so on, 10 minutes after. It, what will happen with taking the Atumbi, you will get cramps. You may come out your mouth and it may come out your nose. But once you finish the cleanse, because what is cleansing is your electrical wiring system and your central heating system. It's also going to clean the pineal gland. So once you, you're basically going to reset your body, once you finish reset it, you need at least a day to half a day complete rest. Because it's like a bit going into a war zone in your body. And once you've done that, I would advise you to try to eat plant-based and vegetables for the next three months because it takes three months for your blood to sort itself out and anything like diabetes can come out within the three months high blood pressure can come out with a free back but within the day of doing the cleanse mucus will come out so if you've got any pains in your knee or your legs that will come out within the day of doing within the time of doing the cleanse that's the tumbi cleanse yeah and the next thing is once you take it done the cleanse it takes out the good the bad and the ugly so you need to replace all the good in so that's why i say try to try to stay with plant-based foods for at least three months to get your body back into shape yeah once you've done that one of the things i suggest especially if you're taking high blood pressure pills or diabetes or got uh, anything with your knee arthritis anything like that take moringa moringa will replace any pills that you're taking it is what they call from the tree of life. It deals with the brain, the liver, the kidney, the lungs and the heart. And it also deals with anything like gout and arthritis. Moringa is one of those superfoods that you can take every day. With this moringa, you can sprinkle it on your food, make a gravy with it. Or what I say, you can take half a teaspoon in a cup of warm water. It doesn't really dissolve and knock it back so it goes straight into the bloodstream yeah the moringa with this uh this is called trifla this is native to india again this deals with so many different things one of the things it actually deals with is parasites and fungus but the other thing it deals with is cancer so with this i would say take half a teaspoon uh twice a day one in the morning one in the night before you go to bed yeah with this, when you go to sleep and you're sleeping, you're giving your body the tools to start to recycle and repair the cells in your body. So this is Trifla. It's got a three berries for, that are native to India. One of them is called the Guji berry. This is what you call Yotta roots. This is powerful in itself. With the Yotta roots, it's ginger. Some people know it as Sinker Bible or Tuna from the native countries yeah it's a cactus plant that is circle like a tennis bat table tennis bat and in the plant it's a vegetable but this vegetable is a blood cleanser so if you've got menopausal problem you've got COVID-19 you've got anything like that this will then start to work in another way so what it does it got when you take it in your mouth it's antiseptic and defungal so it starts to clean the mouth also it go into your intestines because when you eat meats the intestine shrinks with what they call cholesterol now once you take this this will clear the cholesterol which is another name for mucus yeah and once it clears the mucus out it'll go into the stomach give your good bacteria in your stomach 
and then go into your lower stomach and work its way around your whole of your blood system and your water system. It's called Yotawus. With that, ladies, if you take a little bit of this in a tea as well, you can get it into your system quite quick. It deals with fi fibroids. It's a really good cleanser for fibroids and anything that you've got going on in your uh, vaginal area, it helps to clean, yeah? The other thing is, uh, once you start wearing a magnetic bracelet, I'll just show you this magnetic bracelet here. With the magnetic bracelet, it's another tool, because all these things are tools, yeah? With these tools, the magnetic bracelet is a cellular builder. So it reverses your polarity of your blood, allowing you to go from AC, which is alternative current, to DC, direct current. It makes you stronger the moment you put on, and it starts to work with your body. It's got copper in as well, so the copper deals with inflammation as well, and arthritis. So it's a tool in itself as well that helps you. And with the ginger, it's like a powerhouse with the ginger. Then you've got Glory Pits, which is a deodorant. With Glory Pits, Glory Pit is an amazing deodorant. Because what it does, it detox underneath your arm from any aluminium, any SLL, any poison that they put into the uh, ordinary uh, deodorant. Glory Pits will detox your arm. Once it's detoxed your arm and you're eating well, you don't have to use a lot of it. With Glory Pits, you can use it like a stick, as an ordinary stick underneath your arm. But I always suggest to people to make it work and last longer. Take a little bit on your finger, put it underneath your arm, take a little bit on your finger and put it on there. And that way it doesn't waste and it, you can get up to three to two to three months out of this. Yeah. The other thing is you've got here is a water jug. But this water jug is glass, but not only is it glass, it's got about it's got about 40 quid's worth of shungai in it. Shungai is a stone which is native to Russia. It's a carbon stone, but it's also a blocker of energy. So any bad energy, 5G, any uh, frequency, microwave energy, it also blocks. But with the shungite in, in the water, it starts to hydrate the water and it oxygenates the water. So the water then goes into your body and gives you good oxygen inside your blood. That's shungite. Then we got here, the toothpaste. Now this one, this particular one, is aloe vera. If your toothpaste has got any other colour than green, you know it's going to have some form of chemical that's going to be harmful to your body. If it's red, if it's blue, do not use it. Simple as that. The, now the government has instructed the dentist to tell the kids even to swallow the toothpaste. But what you're swallowing is poison. Fluoride is a gas that was made by the Germans to gas the, what they call the Jews. So you don't want to be following fluorides. And also, it's, it's, it's detrimental to your health for ladies with their breasts, like the deodorant. Also we've got here, also we've got here, we've got the ashwagandha. The ashwagandha is good for, doctor, I need your help here. What's yeah. the ashwagandha good for? Ashwagandha will help her relax and sleep and build cells. Build cells as well, yeah? yeah. It's like it's like having a, a little drop of wine before you're going to bed, but much better than wine. Anyway, I think that's it, how we've covered it all. My name is Fire Steed. If you want any information, call me on 077-202-18001. I'll repeat, 077-202-18001. 001. Thank you very much.